How you doing guys? This is Ryko with my second installment of my All-Stars commentary series. Now, not every video is going to be of me beating people over and over. I want to play highly skilled players, so obviously I run the risk of being beaten, blown up, exposed, what have you. Also, there are times where I'm just not going to be playing at my best. I don't mean that I'm phoning it in or I'm sandbagging, but sometimes I just don't play to my capacity. So for now, we have some dittos between me and DeBuzz. Despite this video only being three matches, DeBuzz managed to three-stock me at the very least two times with Evil Cole, maybe three. I'd have to look it over again. I've stated before that I know that DeBuzz is a better player than me, but what makes matters worse is I literally just end up playing worse whenever I acknowledge the skill of my opponent. I end up making mistakes that I never make. Certain inputs literally come in in the opposite direction. I just end up shitting the bed. I mean, this is something that's long running. It used to happen to me in Smash all the time. I'd play people in friendlies, and granted, I understand that people, while they're in friendlies, because it doesn't matter, they may not be playing to their full capacity, but I don't need to make matters worse by not playing to my capacity when I'm stressed or in a, in a tournament. After Smash, I kind of made a point to avoid tournaments because I got sick of... Well, I just didn't see the point in paying money to display publicly that I'm terrible at a game. And my friends used to tell me that I was overdoing it, that I wasn't terrible, but that my anger or my anxiety made me play terribly. My wife actually insists that my anxiety only manifests in two ways, uh, worsened dexterity and heightened anger. I look at every mistake I make in a stressful situation, and I dwell on it to the point that if I make any error whatsoever, I may as well have lost the match right then and there. And unfortunately, this sort of self-scrutinization just happens to me in real life, too. Anytime I apply for a job or go to an interview, when I look back on it, I end up thinking about something I may have said in a way that I didn't want to, or maybe uh, a typo in a job application, and I will sit there and dwell on it for days. When I look back on something after I've submitted it, I dwell on pretty much every mistake I feel I made to the point that not getting the position I want is a foregone conclusion, and I need to stop doing that. Now, people are telling me that there are two ways to fix this. Either I cause myself to not care so I play at the same level that I do when I'm just goofing off, or I can take that stress and somehow cultivate it into some sense of heightened awareness, minus the needling over every tiny mistake. To be honest, I kind of doubt my capacity to accomplish either, but nonetheless that's not a reason to not try. That's enough for the existential moment. If you happen to suffer from the same thing, jitters, choking, just lack of grace under fire, uh, and you happen to have found a way to fix that, or if it's something that I kind of have to figure out for myself, by all means, just leave a comment, send me a message or something. I'm sure plenty of people have had the same problem in tournaments or just in, I guess, in life. And if they've found a way, an exercise, uh, some sort of practice that kind of gets them back into working order, then by all means, please let me know. Any help will be appreciated. So, DeBuzz has exhibited a new, I don't even know if like, it's a tech or anything like that. It's just a really good decision to make where you cause a person to respond defensively to your amp grenade, and then in the cover of the amp grenade, grind in, come to a stop with circle, and then you throw the level 1. If the person blocks the grenade, then they're going to get hit by the level 1. If they get hit by the grenade, the grenade itself doesn't make them bounce so high that they can't get hit by the level 1 afterwards. It's a true combo. In game 2, we have the buzzes pretty much controlling the tempo and pressure of the match, I'm literally backed into a corner. He catches me with the up throw set up into level 1, and it's funny because I know all of my options and I know all of his, but honestly, I don't know what I can do to get out of that situation because I know he knows all of my options. The only thing it comes down to is who has the better reaction, who has the better timing, and in that situation, the buzz has both. The only thing I can really do is work on my reaction time and my decisions so that if I catch him in the same situation, I don't drop it. So we both landed up throw as our first kill of the match. And we're back to throwing grenades and blasts to try to open each other up. It's going to be a lot of 
well, it's a ditto, so you're really just dealing with the same set of moves. I catch him with the up throw, but I only convert it into 45 AP combo, and this is something I actually do almost exclusively in stressful situations. It's not really playing down, but I end up doing like the simplest combos in hopes, or rather in fear, that I'm going to drop it, but it's kind of like this catch-22. I do that to try to circumvent the stress, but because I'm stressed, I'm going to be dropping even the simplest of combos. So this is something that you're going to notice from here on in. I'm going to end up going for the more complicated combos. I'm going to try to end up getting that 145 AP burst during all relevant situations, if only so that I can get used to it being the norm, and hopefully in time I get better at handling the stress, and therefore I can do the combos that I can normally do just at all times. <laughs> I do a random thunder drop in the wrong direction, and that was supposed to be grind but now I'm just exhibiting exactly what I'm talking about. I ended up mistaking a down input for a left or right input. I try to hit him with the oil spike Oki and I get hit with the Giga Punch. He tries to set me up for the oil spike Oki and I roll right and throw a obviously desperate level one. It works because he didn't expect it because who would? It was actually kind of a dumb decision, but at the same time, I guess don't knock it if it works. Make no mistake, the only reason I did it was because I felt like I didn't have any other option. So, we're on game three, and this is probably the worst. Uh, this is definitely the worst of the three matches I'm putting up today. Neither of us are really getting the upper hand at the moment. We're both kind of going for anchor combo setups. He's thrown a couple of giga punches. I've thrown a couple of grabs. And honestly, between the two of them, at point blank grab beats Giga Punch, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I was doing the more unsafe option. He hits me with a very nice convert off the amp grenade. So you got tether, amp grenade, and then the up square. <laughs> I actually use up square so rarely that I don't actually know the name of it. I try to hit him with a setup out of up throw, but I still am only doing the uh, 45 AP convert off of Hellfire Rockets. My goal for this match is pretty much to keep him the hell away from me. I mean, it's an evil cold ditto. What did you really expect? It comes down to who has the better mobility, the better decisions, the better traps, and who capitalizes more often and more efficiently off of an opportunity. Since you both have the same tools, it pretty much comes down to who uses said tools in, if not the most creative, at least the most pragmatic way. He lands the amp grenades and he manages to sneak in real quick and get the up square, so he's really good at capitalizing on those opportunities. Luckily he doesn't turn around and manage to punish me with his Giga Punch, but then I landed to the oil spike which kind of sets me up into the Hades trap and then I get, well I get killed for it. I try to throw a raw level 1 to punish the Firebird Strike, but I have a feeling that he did it to bait the level 1 in the first place, and he knew that he could jump and get out of there in time. Looking back on this, as frustrating as it is to play against someone who's more fundamentally sound, the truth is I won't get any better unless I play people who are better than me. I have to put myself in these situations. While I'm currently unable to perform to my own standard when I'm stressed, this is pretty much the only way I'm ever going to deaden my nerves. On the bright side, I learned some new traps and new tech, and that'll carry over into my matches against other people at the very least. If the worst I can say is that I lose soundly to someone who is just flat out better than anyone I've played yet, then how bad is that really? If nothing else, this will help me make better decisions in the future, and because he mains the same character that I do, I'm able to see what works, what doesn't, and apply that to my game to make myself better. I hope you found this set of matches entertaining. My next two videos will be about Nariko and Ratchet. I have a number of Nariko 2v2 videos I'm going to commentate on, but more importantly, I'm going to talk about how Superbot can't justify buffing Nariko due to the fact that she is currently dominating the West Coast. Which also brings up the discussion on whether or not a character should be buffed just because they happen to be underwhelming in 1v1 situations. It's a bit silly that I've said multiple times that I think 1v1 is actually the most lackluster mode in this game. Yet, when I think of character balance, I only think within the context of 1v1. Well, that was a no-win situation. 
I was cornered, he hit me with the Oki setup, and I probably could have rolled to the right, but he had all my options covered with the oil spike and the, the level 2. I threw my level 1 and again, what was obviously desperation, but he had all those options covered. So this wraps up my second commentary video. Thank you for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or requests, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can hit me up in my inbox, or hit me up on Twitter. Until next time. Special delivery. Oh. Defeat.